daughter is obsessed with eating carrots. I hope she won't try and eat them. I don't know why I'm putting it around my head. It's not a necklace. Oh no. I don't know why I knocked on it twice. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video of mine. I can't believe it's already April. Well, it'll be April by the time you guys watch this video. Today I'm going to be showing you a Easter decor haul. So things I want to use to decorate my house to make it feel more Eastery. I don't know if that's a word. I think I just made that up. Um, but just to bring Easter into the home now that it is April and just get the kids excited for Easter. If you don't know, I do have two little kids. One is four and the other is two. So I didn't go too crazy with all the decor items. I just got bits and pieces here that I liked. I was actually very picky this year because I didn't want to waste my money. So I actually shopped around quite a lot. Um, but... I did get majority of things from Kmart, of course, um, but I also got things from Target, Big W, Kmart, like I said, and just my local discount shop. So if you're interested to see what I picked up, then keep on watching the video. Before we get into the video, if you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do click that red subscribe button down below. It's free and super easy. I'll be also doing a what's in my kids Easter basket very soon. I just need to get some candy or sweet treats to add to their baskets and I'm really being cautious to try and get not too many um, but also some maybe healthier versions i'm not too sure if you guys have any suggestions and you live in australia let me know down below in the comments because i'd love to know where i can get some healthier candy or lollies or chocolate or whatever it is um to add to my kids easter basket because as i said my kids are quite young they're four and two so i don't want to be packing a whole heap of sugar into their baskets Anyway, today's video is about um, the Easter haul, decor haul, so let's get into it. I might as well just start with the Kmart because that's the majority of things. I'm doing this because my Kmart stuff are on this side. Don't worry about that. Um, I might as well start with Kmart because uh, that's where I got majority of my things. So let's dig into it. The first thing I want to show you is, is the Easter baskets my kids will be getting this year. I did change them up and I'll actually show you last year's basket first. Um, just so you can see what they look like because I believe they're still available and they were from Kmart as well and they look like this so this was last year's basket I'm just going to let them use this basket for when they go on their Easter hunt instead so they're still going to get a use out of it um, and I still really like this basket I just found it was a little bit too small um, but you know for young kids it probably is just enough it is quite deep inside, so you probably could still fit everything that you wanted to, but I just wanted to upgrade the baskets this year, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, but this little one just has a um, bunny with a little pom-pom there as well, and just some gold dots. So that was last year's basket, but this year... Oh, my earring just fell out. But this year they're going to be getting these. So these are wooden crates, um, obviously made out of wooden because they're hard. I don't know why I knocked on it twice. Sorry, just ignore that. Um, but anyways, they have Happy Easter written on the front of it with a little bunny um, and the back of it's just plain. So I'm actually thinking the reason I got this is because for two reasons. One, it's a lot bigger so you can fit more things into it and obviously it's sturdier as well. Um, but the other thing is because I'm actually thinking about personalizing it. I was looking online for personalized um, baskets um, or crates like this and they were just way too expensive or they weren't big enough. So I thought this would be a good alternative and I could possibly like DIY it. I'm thinking of just getting like a black Sharpie or even um, seeing if I can order their names um, in this similar font in black and then just stick it on the back there and this is something that I want to use for years to come so again why I got something a bit more sturdier. I should mention the price of these ones these were only five dollars each from Kmart and as I've got two kids obviously I bought two of them. Next thing I got from Kmart for Easter is this Easter wreath. I've never had an Easter wreath before this is my first one um, that I've bought and I really fell in love with this when I saw it I, and it actually inspired me 
um, with all the other house decor that things that I bought because of all the beautiful pastel colors on these eggs. They do have some gold eggs as well, but most of them are all like pastel colors or white. And I really, really love that. I don't know why I'm putting it around my head. It's not in a place. Um, but this wreath was $12 from Kmart. So a really good buy. And I think this will look super cute on the door. The next thing I've got is kind of like matching with that wreath. Um, I got matching little separate eggs. So these are just 15 shredded eggs and these were five dollars for this pack it does come with some of that like shredded paper stuff on the bottom of it i don't know if i'll use this because there's not much in there but is there anyways if you do want to use it um but i thought this would be really cute because it actually matches the eggs on the reef the next thing is this happy easter flag bunting um this is 2.7 meters long and it was five dollars so it's got little bunnies on it and also spells out the word Happy Easter as well. Um, so super cute. The next thing I got are these carrot buntings. This is one and a half centimeter long buntings and buntings and this was five dollars for the pack. Um, I don't know if I'll use this as a bunting or whether I'll separate them and use them another way. I'm not too sure yet but I thought they were really cute to get little carrots. My daughter is obsessed with eating carrots. I hope she won't try and eat them. That would be, you know what, she probably will try and eat them. Um, I probably should put this somewhere up high where she can't reach them. Um, but I just thought it was super cute and we'll just add a pop of colour um, with all these pastel colours that I have bought. The next thing is super cute and is these two little metal, what are they called? Metal look bunnies. So I've got a silver one and like a rose gold one and these are only $2 each. So cute and yeah, $2 each from Kmart. The next thing I got is not interesting whatsoever but I just thought I'd show you anyways because I did get it for Easter. It's just two packs of green shredded paper. Um, Adrian? Hi baby. Who woke up? Do you want to say hello to the camera? Do you want to say hi? Oh, you're still tired. You got an eyelash. Hmm. We're matching today, aren't we? Hi. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Did you have any dreams? No. Okay. Do you want to sit here and help mummy film the rest of the video? Oh, you just want to cuddle? <laughs> She's smiling, but she's so shy. Are you camera shy? Okay, can you lay here and watch mine? Bless you! Bless you! Bless you! The next thing I've got... Oh, no. Oh, no, that's broken. I just realised that it's actually broken. I'm going to show you anyways, but I think I'm going to have to return this um, and get another one. But I've got this, what's this called? It's an Easter scene crate and it looks like this. Um, so it's got these little cut out bunnies and flowers on there and it's just empty inside. And I was thinking of actually putting that shred of paper in here and putting some of the eggs in there and some bunnies. But I've just realized, I don't know if you can tell. That one of these are missing. I think it's meant to be a flower or something. I'm not too sure. Um, but it has actually broken off. And I've only just noticed it now. I'm probably going to have to exchange this one. Which is a shame. Because I really wanted to decorate the house. Um, after this video. But I might have to leave this aside. And get a new one. Because it is broken. So anyways. It's still a nice decorative piece. But um, just check they're not broken when you pick yours up. The next two things is um, just some bunny fabric treat bags. I just got two of these just to add, um, you know, make the bag a little bit more interesting. I can put like a little goodie thing in there. I'm not too sure what I'm going to use these for just yet. But this was only $1.50 for each. And on the back it's got Happy Easter and a little pom-pom there as well. The other Easter bag or gift bags I got are these ones here. I thought this was so cute and I got a whole bunch just dropped them all. 
I've got a whole bunch because I do have a whole heap of nieces and nephews that I'm buying gifts for for Easter. So I got them all the same. Um, and yeah, these were a dollar from Kmart. So I want to move on to um, things I got from my local discount shop. So the first thing is this, what's this called? Grass garden tile. I thought this would be super cute just for like a little centerpiece on a table. Um, and this was $3.50. So really good deal. This wasn't even in the Easter section. It was in like the, um, what are they called? The fairy garden section. Um, so you can jazz up your little fairy garden. But I just thought it would be really cute to use as an Easter decor. So this was $3.50 like I said. The next thing are these Easter shaped cookie cutters. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to use these for, whether it will be for cookies or just um, to do like sandwich cutters, like use them for sandwich cutters. Um, but I thought it would be a fun thing anyways. You could even do um, Easter pancake shapes as well as an idea. And this was only $2 for this pack. So you get an egg, a bunny face, a full bunny and then a little chicken as well. The next thing I've got is just these 12 fillable eggs. Um, obviously these are used for the Easter hunt so they do crack open and you can put a little um, treat in there or you can just keep them empty and they can find just the plastic eggs. I just thought these were super cute for the Easter hunt in the morning um, and my daughter loves playing with these even when it's not Easter. She loves sticking things in there and opening and closing them so she'll use these all year round. We had a whole heap last year as well. But they all went missing. Don't know where they've gone. So I need to get another two packs. And these. They go my earring again. And these. They go my earring again. Two packs. And, next, and this pack was $2 each. The last thing I got from the discount shop. Is this super cute little Easter sign. So it's got. Um, these little eggs that spell out the word Easter and these little chickens that's coming out of this one and one sitting on the top. It is a very um, kind of bendable so not the greatest quality. I think there's just like a bit of cardboard on the bottom of that. But it's pretty cute just to sit on like a table or like a shelf or something. Um, but this was $6.99 for this little decor item. I thought it was super cute and I love how the eggs actually look very realistic. Um, with all the markings and things like that on it. So that's that one. And I just got one thing from Target this year. I was pretty bummed with Target selection. There was a couple of things I was um and ahhing about whether I should get them or not. But I ended up leaving them. Um, I only picked this one thing up. And it was another bunting. I don't know why I got so many buntings. Um, but I just love these colours. The pink and the white, sorry about the glare there. Um, how much was this? I don't remember how much it was. It doesn't have a price on there. Um, but if I can find it on my receipt, I'll insert it somewhere on the screen for you guys. If you're interested. Um, but it's just like some pom-pom buntings. And some of them have like, the pink ones I think have ears on them. Yep. The pink ones do have ears on them like little bunnies. So I thought that was super cute. I just thought this was super cute to decorate with. And yeah, again, I don't know why I bought so many buntings. Obviously, I like buntings. So I don't know where I'm going to put all these, but hopefully I can find a spot for them. And the very, very last thing I've got is just from Big W. And it's this really cute grass looking bunny. So it looks like that. It's so super light. Um, but I just thought he was so cute. And he was only $5. And he's holding a little Easter egg. That is the end of my Easter decor haul, but I'm going to show you now how I've set everything up. Um, so don't click out just yet so you can see that part of the video at the end. But thank you again for watching. If you have enjoyed, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'd love to have you on board and follow my YouTube journey. And with all that said, have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.